Hey friends, in this lecture what I'll try to do basically is understand the whole concept of pure bending. For example, I have this beam with me which is loaded by two forces P and two P's acting at a distance of A from A and A from B. Now I have this reaction defined by R and this is equal to P and this one will also be equal to P as the beam is symmetrically loaded. Now if you have to find the shear force diagram of this beam it will be some kind of a thing like this wherein this will be an upward force so positive shear force in this region defined by AC there will not be any transverse concentrated loads so in this region shear force is constant at C there will be a downward force acting so it will drop down to zero from C to D there won't be any transverse concentrated force so essentially it will have it will be a kind of a constant shear force or if this constant is equal to zero this zero shear force between C and D at point D again, there will be a downward force P acting, so essentially the shear force will be negative. And from D to B, again there is no shear, the transverse concentrated loads, as such it will be constant, and at D it will be like this. So essentially this is my positive shear force, this is my negative shear force. And from this diagram, we can draw also the bending moment diagram. At between point A and C, we know that dm by dx is equal to V. So essentially, if V is constant, M must be a linear function of X. And if this is positive, it should be a positive linear function of the sagging moment. So essentially, it will be like this. At point C, there, from C to D essentially, there will be zero shear force. And zero shear force essentially means if V is zero, M must be constant. So therefore, a constant bending moment will creep in in the region defined by C. And at this point D, there will be negative shear forces starting. So negative shear force basically means that there is a change in magnitude or change in sign of the slope of bending moment. So essentially it will be a decreasing linear function of the sagging moment. So essentially it will be like this. So the sagging moment is this. And the magnitude of this sagging moment is nothing but is equal to PA. And this is P. So essentially what is the whole concept of pure bending? At those regions wherein there will be a zero shear force or a constant bending moment, that region is basically under pure bending. So this is the concept of pure bending and I'll take this concept forward in bending stresses in the next lecture. Thanks a lot for listening. Thank you.